What is up, everybody? Tuba vs. TV here today. So we just got reports of Sony delaying most of their internal first-party games at a late 2023 to early 2024. So they have no games this year, pretty much. <laughs> it's kind of the thing that Microsoft had last year with no major games. For 2022, they were super dry. Sony is having the same effect. Sure, they have PSVR 2, which launched earlier this year, which... A lot of people have regrets about it, a.k.a. Ryan McCaffrey called out the PSVR 2. Hey, regrets purchasing it. So that's already a bummer. If you were a fan of that, then you guys, people say they don't even want it. Who were fans of it because it's just so underwhelming. But now to the actual main games. They only have one game coming up this year, Spider-Man 2. They might, have, they might have other exclusive games that came out this year, but they're not really that relevant. Let's be honest here. The big game they got coming out this year, Spider-Man 2. So they had a pretty dry year. I gotta say, Xbox is kind of doing the same thing as well, too, because the only big game I can think of for Xbox is Starfield, which that's a major game, but it's like, stuff is just being delayed, and it's just really annoying. <laughs> it's just really freaking annoying. But we got a plenty of third-party games to cover cover their bases, because that's probably why Sony bought Square Enix different uh, multiplayer games back in the first party, because they were lacking this year for content. Then it reports them just the land game makes it even worse. So, go look for a pretty dry year on PlayStation, especially for first party content this year. It's very disappointing. People aren't really calling us out, which they, they make sure to call out Xbox, but they're not calling us out. Some fanboys are even called them Baldur's Gate 3 and PlayStation exclusive, even though it's on PC, it's not even on PlayStation. I'm missing stuff about that so i might make a video about that later but that's just ridiculous it's just sony has been so dry with first party content which is they supposed to be the market leader of gaming but they got no major first party games this year which is very concerning so it's just I don't, people are speculating because of the activision blizzard king deal who knows who knows why they have no games coming out it's just very concerning at this point the market leader only has one game coming out this year <laughs> <laughs> the media isn't talking about it. Just so fascinating right there. Wait, does that mean we are not getting the special PlayStation showcase? I am confused. I thought PlayStation was holding back before delivering that knockout blow to Xbox. Eh, they're not holding back anything. They don't have anything. Spider-Man 2, which is just like more of the same. People are saying the game looks mid. I'm not going out for it. I think it looks okay, but it's just more of the same. You play with the past three three iterations of spider-man since 2018 so it's the same thing just a bigger coat of paint a new new coat of paint on it it's the same game playstation can't possibly keep up with xbox game releases and this is just getting started yeah can't wait for that special showcase playstation was holding back playstation has no games yeah, they kind of do at this point. That mean when they say about Xbox is backfiring because PlayStation has no games right now. It's pretty obvious. Uh, I think Spider-Man and Helldivers 2 were the only things left that ever got any hard confirmation for this year. I don't know if this could be for some other published games. Stellar Blade, I don't even know that it's Convillaria, etc. Or something unannounced. The Sony showcase was not underwhelming. That showcase was trash. <laughs> what is he talking about? That showcase was trash. It was like no major games with that showcase. That was even like worth for damn. So I don't know what he's talking about. Spider-Man and Metal Gear being confirmed. Metal Gear, an old game, was being remastered, remade. Pick up to do. Uh, should delay the showcase as well. Yeah, they should delay the showcase. Like, why even show a showcase if it's just gonna be like trash? The whole, pretty much a whole game of community view that showcase is garbage. So why even release something like that out there? Doesn't make any sense. COVID effect is hitting everyone. Is that the cause of this? Who knows? Maybe it is because of the effect of, effect of COVID. I would think so because it's looking kind of spooky with their lack of games coming out. And they're the so-called market leader. They sold 40 million consoles, but no exclusives are coming out. It's like, and once again, it makes you think, does it have to do with the whole Call of Duty situation? Does Call of Duty that much of a factor where it's limiting their releases and delaying games like that? Who knows? This is just getting wild at this point. Just an excuse. They showed other games that won't be out for a while, so I'm not sure that's the reason for the showcase. Okay. Guaranteed two of them were Twisted Metal and Last of Us Factions. 
<laughs> People still keeping hope alive for the last of us factions mode. How long has that been at this point? Like, that's just wild how that game gets no screwed you at factions and has been like missing in action for the longest. We haven't heard anything about that game. Uh, so Stella Blade is early 2024 release or maybe even spring or summer. Okay. The showcase before the last one was also underwhelming. Yeah, no, because they got nothing to show. Once again, it's like people are speaking about the market leader here, people. Sony is supposed to be the first place in the console market, but it's like they got no games. And the biggest game is just a game that we already played before within two times within the last five years. So this is getting spooky. <laughs> People want to brag about those console sales, but it's like, where are the results? Where are the games that's supposed to be showing off these um, consoles sold? Very little. Because people sure ain't buy the console for some PSVR nonsense. That's for sure. Where are the first party games? They haven't announced any. Not a good look. Uh, maybe you don't embarrass yourself by having a showcase then. Should have been a 30 minute set of play. Ahead of Spider Man 2 would have showed and started with in a Medical Solid 3 remake. Okay. The pony clones will keep pretending it is all is okay. They already pretend in Baldur's Gate 3 is an exclusive. They pretend in Final Fantasy 16 is an exclusive. You know, that's not me about Sony's first party, so. Uh. It was underwhelming because they don't have crap to show. Y'all are still damned controlling. Thought we would get a secret showcase by now. Yeah, what a crap show. Yeah, Sony is not looking good. I don't know. People say this is the best console we get right now, but it's like, where is the first party game set? It's just getting ridiculous. So PS5 is going to be Sony's PlayStation, Sony PlayStation's first generation when it comes to exclusives then, all right? There's Goku talking to Vegeta saying, let's fight somewhere empty. Then there's PlayStation 5 exclusive games, <laughs> especially for this year. It's just like, it's definitely an empty place. Oh, man, it's just funny how these memes just backfire once Xbox has no games. So even if Xbox just had no games, that's typical because people don't expect much for Xbox anyway. That's what the what the so-called logic is around here, the narrative is. But when PlayStation has those games, it's like this meme. Everything is fine while the house is on fire. And when Jim Ryan is leading the ship. Just fascinating. It's like literally third party is literally saving this entire year for PlayStation. Or third party become a first party is saving this year. So it's just wild. It's crazy at this point. I'm confused. If PlayStation did have games planned for this year and next, wouldn't we have heard at least something about them last year at least? Right now, we don't know anything first party other than Wolverine. Yeah, I mean, that might be 2025 at, at the most. So, this is a wild ride for PlayStation owners. <laughs> like, you're literally playing third party games. <laughs> Those glorious PlayStation exclusives are nowhere to be found. Oh man, but could probably give you more remakes and remasters because there's a rumor there's a Lost of Us Part 2 remaster remake coming out. So there you go, you got more remake and remasters on that system, which is which is bragging about selling 40 million copies where they're bringing the same old thing over and over again. And their biggest release is the same old thing over and over again. So, man. And Sonic is going to have a bad back carrying PlayStation for so long this year. And Sonic is daring. It's definitely carrying PlayStation alongside Square Enix at this point. Because what is going on? People are not concerned with this. Oh, man. The live service games. Most of the new ones revealed only said 2024. I don't care about live service games at all. I think most of those games are going to flop. They may have one or two that succeed, but I think the rest of those games is going to flop and just be a waste of everybody's time and money put into it at this point. The PS5 ain't beating the no games allegations. Oh, man. <laughs> the market leader here, people. 
This is what people are saying here about the market leader PlayStation. Not a good look. But I'm going to include it right here. People are just roasting Sony, and it's just hilarious because as the media won't call it out, the gaming community will call it out because PlayStation is dry for first-party games, which is like... It's, it's supposed to be the opposite of people's the narrative is supposed to be the opposite the person have plenty of games people buy places for the exclusives but it's like people are plant buying a 40 plus million consoles for third party games call of duty fortnite fifa madden that's it not the first party content as we were told by fanboys but definitely want to see your thoughts down below what do you think about playstation delaying their content they're delaying the first party games and pretty much being a dry year except for spider-man 2 so and psvr 2 well so what are your thoughts about this leave your comments down below definitely want to see them leave a like like this video and as always thanks for watching and peace